was uh, was that game three for you personally? You feel like you got a little redemption? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say redemption. You know, what I mean, it was good to come out and you know have a you know a little impact on the game. You know, I think you know, that's what it's all about. Just you know, every game trying to get better. You know, trying to do something better, trying to bring something else to the table. So um, you know, I don't think there's necessarily any point in a playoff series where you're talking about getting redemption. You know, because it's first person win four games, so getting redemption, that's not what it's about. You know, some things aren't going to go as well in game one as they may go in game two or three or four. So, you know, I think going out, you know, with a mindset of trying to get redemption is pretty much the wrong mindset because, you know, like I said, at a point where you're trying to win four games, now if it's, you know, one and one or, you know, we played them twice this year, they got me the first game, I got to go get my redemption the second game, and that's different. But, you know, as far as, you know, a series, a seven-game series and, you know, trying to get redemption, I don't necessarily think that's the case. Maybe I'm making too much of it, but but it looked like you uh, you liked that swipe you got at the end of the third quarter. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, that's just, you know, just trying to, you know, just bring energy to the floor, you know. But, you know, I, I mean, that definitely felt good, you know, just to, you know, get the turnover right there, you know, last second situation because, you know, a shot at the end of the third quarter is just as big as a shot at the end of the fourth quarter. You know, it all makes a difference. So, you know, I was just, you know, it was a great feeling to get, you know, get the strike, get the swipe and get the strip. And, you know, we always talk about closing out quarters, you know, so to be able to close out a quarter with a turnover, I think it was just a big momentum building. Oh uh, yeah, I was pretty pumped about that one. Uh, you know, just, you know, one thing we always say is, you know, it's, it's not easy, but it's easy to, you know, go get a bucket at the end of a quarter or at the end of a game than it is to go get a stop, you know. So, you know, it's always great to, you know, end something on a defensive end, you know, as opposed to, you know, every, you hit that last shot or, you know, you send us up, put us up for a game or, you know, at the end of the quarter, everybody's going to get hyped, you know. But you get that last stop, you know, it's something about getting a stop to where it just gets everybody involved. You know, it, it makes everybody, you know, bring energy to everybody, bring more energy to the building, which is already crazy, you know. So, I mean, it, it was just a great stop. And, you know, just try to, like I said, just try to bring a little more energy. Did that rival in the college atmosphere? Definitely. Um, you know, that's right, man. In any college game where it was only 20,000 or 19,000 people, by far the loudest. Now, you, you know, to even talk about, you know, the noise level and, you know, the, the energy that was in that building, you know, it makes me think of the Final Four of my freshman year in Detroit, 78,000 people, and I'm putting that up there with that. You know, just how loud it was, how crazy it was. You know, just fans cheering for anything, really, it's just because they got a reason to cheer. You know, it was like, man, Steph Curry goes to the free throw, like, ah, like, it was, just, it was crazy in there. How important is it to see Bogut out there bouncing people around and, and maybe even the Nuggets looking over their shoulder? Very important. Um, you know, Bogut has really been an anchor in the middle of our defense. And, you know, not only so important of what Bogut is doing, but also showing Festus, you know, teaching him how to be that anchor in the middle, you know. So it's been great because now, you know, as opposed to just playing, you got a great defender to watch and learn from and then go in and try to counter that and, you know, try to bring something else to the table. So, you know, I think Bogut in the middle of our defense has been really important. You know, and I think actually, you know, in the pick and roll with Ty Lawson in it, Bogut probably guards the best because he just sit back and protect the rim, you know. So I think he's been great for us. He gets it into a little bit with McGee and the, the, he knocks it with all down in the game too. How important is that stuff? Very important. Um, you know, one thing about a playoff series, if, if if nothing happens, something is wrong. You know, you need some, just something to happen, like some type of adversity. You know, whether it's you know somebody getting into it, you know, whether it's a higher foul to make someone else thin. You know, whatever it is, you, that's what makes the playoff series exciting. You know, because you know, all right, if I get into it with him today, I still gotta go see him tomorrow. You know, and you know that's the difference as opposed to in the NBA, you know, regular NBA season. We may play you in November, then play you again in January. You would have forgot about it. But the fact that, all right, we just got into it today. We got to see each other a day from now. You know, it just gives it that little added extra, you know, motivation, that extra push that, you know, sometimes you need. I know he's out a lot. But does he play sort of like that in practice sometimes too? Like, does he? Definitely. I mean, um, you know, it's tough to get to the room and practice with Bogan in there, but 
you know, that's been Bogey his whole career. And, you know, for us to have that on this team, I think it's definitely helping our defense out a lot because, you know, all right, I got beat, but I know Bogus there. And, you know, whether it's taking the charge, whether it's blocking the shot, you know, I know he's there. And, you know, when you got that, you know, that anchor in the middle to where, all right, I got beat, but I know somebody there to get my back, you know, it makes a huge difference.